how do you get started with revenue management? If you're the first time in and you're starting with your property and deciding to start the process of looking at revenue management in more detail and making it a forecast within your business. Well, obviously one of the things to look at first is your data. Where are you going to collect it from? Is it just your property management system? Is it your central reservation system? What about your channel manager? What about your competitor set? How about perhaps looking at integrating some of your reputation measurement scores as well? All of these things are key elements that should be taken into consideration. When you're then forecasting where you are in the market, what your pricing sensitivity is and what your demand is, and therefore what your forecast is going to be by market segmentation, and whether it's transient or group, and then what you think it's going to be and what your price should be. One of the most important things to, to think about when you're approaching revenue management is revenue management is not pricing. It is much more than pricing. You know, in hospitality, we work with a very perishable uh, commodity, and that's last night's room night. We can't sell that today. So we have to think about if we only have one room left to sell, is it better to sell it at $200? And if you were working purely on a pricing model to charge the very utmost that you could for a one night stay would logically be the best approach. But from a revenue management perspective, what we're actually looking at, well, okay, if we charge $200 for one night, are we perhaps turning away a piece of business that might stay tonight and tomorrow? And perhaps their sensitivities are a, a, a little bit lower. So, they might be looking for to pay maybe only $150, but you're going to get a two-night booking. So in this case, and it is perhaps a little counterintuitive, a reservation for two nights on a lower rate is actually better for your business. So truly less is more in terms of rate, but the total outcome is obviously, from a profit perspective, much better for your hotel. Okay, so how else do we get started? What are some of the other building blocks that we need to consider? Um, obviously you need to, you know, rather like eating an elephant one mouthful at a time, you need to break down your tasks into daily, weekly tasks. What are you going to talk about? Understanding your processes of revenue management and establishing them very clearly across the organisation. So understanding what the agenda is of your revenue management meeting. Who's going to attend? What are you going to talk about? What decisions are you going to make? How are those decisions going to be within what time frame? How often are you going to look at your long-term forecast? How often are you then going to focus on a particular segmentation deep dive? Um, when you come up with certain findings, what type of next steps are you going to take? I suppose like anything in, in our business, it's never just about what we just found out. We have to instinctively ask ourselves each step of the way, well, we've just identified this issue. So what does that mean? Where does that come from? So doing perhaps a deeper dive into your segmentation and then asking, so now what do I need to do? And perhaps the answer to that is putting in place a promotion for a given segmentation. But then again, the question needs to be asked, so now what? And your now what should be, okay, and now how am I going to measure that? How am I going to understand the success? And how am I going to track the success? And what learnings am I going to take? And from there, and tracking the outcomes and, and the successes or failures that you have, starts to build the, the rule and playbook, if you like, for how revenue management will look in your business. I think one of the things when you move from an, a manual environment into then um, with very basic revenue management structure into perhaps a more automated environment is that you start to get deeper granularity around those things. And one of the things that deeper granularity brings you is the ability to understand success earlier and to understand threat and risk earlier as well. So if you do a promotion, for example, as a result of a, a piece of data and a gap that you found in your forecast, you can then do what I like to call fast fail. So you can try things, you can be more confident, you can perhaps be a little bit more imaginative or take a few more risks because you'll also understand that you'll need to spend less from your marketing and execution perspective because you're doing it within a given segmentation and channel. You're, you're not 
putting it right across the marketplace. So your exposure and expenditure is less. But also because you have tracking ability at a granular le level. You can understand whether this promotion has been successful or not. And you can decide whether to pursue it or to stop it and to change tactics and, and to change what you're doing to adapt to then the outcomes and, and get the optimal result across the board. And again, these types of elements are all things we need to bring back into when we decide what we're going to do with revenue management within your, within your property, who it's going to involve, the responsibilities and, and the ripple effect and, and benefits obviously that revenue management has as you start your journey on property into the wonderful world of optimization.